me, isn't it? Of course. It does it on its own now. <laughs> so there goes the live uh, live video clickety click. That's going. Let me post it. Let me share. Because caring is sharing. Sharing is caring. And Come on, computer. Come on. Open. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll let the intro roll. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Drunken Confessions, a show for the bold and the brave, the drunk and the seasoned, where you tell stories your best friends already know, you may not want your family to ever hear, but always makes for a great conversation. Raise the glass or more, we don't judge, every week for Drunken Confessions. Babble, 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 babble. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Drunk and Confessions, episode 54. Yep. Woo! And for anyone watching for the first time, I am your spirit guide, Chaos. I am your host, Amy. I'm D just Dave, the guy with the bar they can't get rid of. All right. Dave. That, that sums it up. Uh, unfortunately, we're missing Stephanie and Jeremy tonight. Yes. Feels kind of empty. I know. I guess. So just I saying, guess the, uh, the weather gets nicer outside, and suddenly people can't make it. Uh, yeah. I'm just uh, noticing a correlation there. It could be. Could very well be. It could be. Husband uh, tried to go for a motorcycle ride today, and I had to go rescue him because it broke down. So he is not a happy camper. Oh. Yeah, but he figured it out. Some I don't know. He talks mechanic. When he talks mechanic, I'm like, I hear Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the thing that goes from the battery to the alternator is blown. That's what I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. That I guess that sounds bad. That sounds like it shouldn't be a blend. Like a bad. Yeah. Usually so. blowing is good, but in that context, it sounds bad. <laughs> well, so. in some cases, yeah. Some cases, no. Yeah. So how was uh, everyone's week so far? Shitty. Aww. Shit. Fantastic. Shitty. Shitty, shitty, bang, bang. <laughs> I, I will second that, Dave. You're not alone on that. I, I swear it's a freaking full moon this week. It is. Everything um, is going wrong. Not so Friday, though. Uh, well, it it's lingering all week. That Just it like is. 20 just like 2020 is lingering for like five years, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I feel like April was like eight weeks, and then May was like three months, and this first week of June has been like a year already. Yeah, like it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. It's just one yeah. thing after another. It's just Billy May Hayes this year. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. I know. That's no, how, it's how much you pay? And I know. What are you gonna do though? I just need someone to get bingo on their apocalypse bingo card so we can get this game over with. Right? 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 So stop it. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Somebody yell bingo. Yeah, because I mean now you got you got earthquakes going on underneath the uh Yellowstone National Yellowstone. Park mm -hmm. where there's a super volcano. Uh well, isn't, isn't there a meteorite coming at us? You got a handful of asteroids that are uh, doing a fly by the earth over the next three days. Yeah. Wasn't it predicted that Yellowstone's volcano was gonna erupt in 2020 oh it's it's like apparently like hundreds of years overdue like it's like it's due for a. oh okay and well then this is the year it'll happen of course um okay. i'm convinced yeah, uh the mayan that invented the calendar was dyslexic and he meant 2021 not, <laughs> not 2012 uh but yeah we'll see yep yeah it happen. all right well i'm gonna drink two shitty weeks but good friends Dude. Two shitty weeks, but it, yay, it's podcast night, and you're with Drunken Confession. So it's hump day. At, mm -hmm. at least you're going to get an hour of relief and laughter and fun. Or 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> or 45 minutes of us bitching and not knowing what we're doing. <laughs> it's happened more than once. Little column A, little column B, <laughs> little, yeah. Yeah. All we, right. We, so. we shall see. <laughs> yeah. So. On agenda for tonight. Do we have an agenda? <laughs> we have a, a small agenda. Uh, Amy went back to work. <laughs> so we said I didn't have time to actually type out an outline and all that because I, unlike you, Cass, I have been at home for two and a half months not doing anything and getting back into a work routine is oh, a little no, harder I than I thought it was going to be. 
So oh, yeah. by next week, I'll have my shit back together and be that's in the flow you say. Of again. That's, we'll see. That, that's we'll a see. great theory. That's that's an amazing theory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until the next <laughs> catastrophe happens next week, and then I'm out. Right. Right. Remember, remember, as I said, remember, doesn't it seem like t- like that Tiger King shit was like three years ago? It really does. Yeah, that was that was the end of March, beginning of right. April. That was you know, yeah. kind of funny. funny. <laughs> Whoa. What's really funny is that you brought that up is that is what's on the agenda. We wanted to talk. One of the first thing we were going to talk about is the best and worst things that you binge watched during this COVID and Which, chaos and everything else. Yeah, and it was so funny because Tiger King was mine and you just brought it up. It's like you have some kind of weird psychic thing going on with our I show, know. Dave. I mean, psychic, psychotic, and tomato, it, It's kind of creepy. Yeah. And I sometimes almost wonder if you like eavesdrop on Amy and I's conversation somehow. You know, did you plant a bug in my house somewhere last time you were here? I went to the uh, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein School of House Design, so there are cameras everywhere. That's that. Because I'm like, every time we talk about something, Dave brings it up um, unknowingly. It's a so, true story, kinda, man. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. But no, I would agree with you. Tiger King's way, way up there on the list. I, I, I think, you know, most Best of America- or worst. Uh oof. Mine's kind of both. A little column A, a little column B. A little column A, a little column B. I mean, it was it was almost like a train wreck that I couldn't stop watching. And yeah, that's even, how I describe it. Even knowing that I shouldn't have contributed to watching it, but it's like it's the train wreck that you thought the wreck was about finished, and then another curve came and the train rolled again. Yeah. And then they did like the 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 follow-up. Yeah, there was the reunion episode. Yeah, and that was. That then was they had the best memes ever. <laughs> I mean, well, and honestly, like that's the thing. I mean, for if nothing, because I mean, like that hit like right after the lockdown started, like right, right about two or three weeks into mm-hmm. it, and so literally the timing could not have been any better. America was bored as shit. Right. We needed something to do, so having a a set of seven episodes drop like that was just brilliance on that even if it was accidental it was brilliant on netflix's part oh that's what that's what made the show more than anything else was the lockdown oh yeah and but oh my god the memes that came out of that and there are literally thousands of them are are just gold like they're they're just things of beauty fair they definitely are so what would so do you have like outside of tiger king do you have like a best and worst that you've binge watched um honestly the one i the one i just did um which is filthy rich the uh the the documentary about jeffrey epstein um that is it's the best because you're like holy shit there's a lot of information here and also because it gives uh some of his victims a voice which they've kind of been denied up until now um it is the worst because you literally feel like you need to just boil your skin off after you're done watching it um it 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 is just it is creepy as all hell what that guy got away with for so long yeah that's kind of why i don't want to watch it well and 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 by so long i started watching it i haven't we got about 40 minutes into it but then i noticed what time it was and i had to turn it off so i could go to bed right um so we we will continue to watch it but just haven't gotten that far yet yeah, I mean, it's it's just crazy. And 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 it's, you know, and, and you know, my, you know, I, my joke at the beginning, I mean, one of the things they show you is like literally in, in his townhouse and, and townhouse is hilarious um, as a description, because it's a 40 million dollar um, house in, in Manhattan that he had uh, literally every square inch of that thing was covered by video. And that includes, you know, bedrooms, bathrooms, showers, hallways, everything. Wow. Um, and so it just makes you wonder who all did that mf or have on videotape doing what yeah and, is, and that's why he got away with shit for so long oh yeah and probably also why he ultimately wound up <laughs> right right killing himself, <laughs> yeah. killing so, himself. so my best and worst um is the sopranos because i absolutely loved it it's the very first time i've ever watched uh, so, yeah, it you've never seen it before yeah i've never seen it and it's kind of funny because um they also i don't know if you know this but they just came out with a brand new podcast that's called talking sopranos so really? i started listening to that today mm-hmm. i am addicted um so it's the guy that played christopher and um the guy that played Oh, his name just went right out of my head. The driver for Uncle Junior. Um, oh, um, 
uh, uh, Bobby Bacala. Yeah. So they're the host of the podcast and they are going to break down every single episode. So episode of episode one of the podcast is all about episode one. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm already hooked. So it's also the worst because I was very confused about that ending. (laughs) As was most of America that were watching it live at the time. Yeah. But now listening to the podcast, maybe they'll explain it. (laughs) Well, no, I mean, so, I mean, it's it's been discussed to death. I mean, the director has talked about it over and over and over again, that that's exactly the ending he wanted. Um, and, I mean, it's not a spoiler because, I mean, it, it's been off the air for, shit, a decade now, I think, right. um, if not longer. Um, but so the the episode, it's in the middle of the song, Don't Stop Believing. And then just, the, like, in the middle of nothing, the screen just, boom, go, like, just cuts to black. And... So it was always okay. Well, did Tony get shot? You know, did, you know, because like that ending scene where there's a lot of characters in the diner that kind of look like some of the other characters, right? Like, the, like you know, his buddy that owned the sporting goods store. There's a character in there that kind of looks like him. You know, there's the guy with the nose sitting at the bar that kind of looks like a typical hitman. There's you know all that kind of stuff. Um, and he's always said he's like, no, he's like, I'm, I'm not going to tell you one way or the other what it's supposed to be because it's supposed to be open to the imagination like that was just where i wanted to end it and how i wanted to end it yeah and like so and i never saw it and everybody so any of our it. listeners who are a, a fan of sopranos if you're just being introduced to it definitely check out that podcast because i will be listening and, and any yeah, of I mean, you that, they have it holler at me because i have it <laughs> well yeah and i mean and honestly that's one of those shows where you know everybody that you know talks about you know, the, the best dramas in TV history. I mean, I will, I will put that up against almost damn near anything. Um, I mean, in fact, that's usually my number one choice. I mean, for a, just from a story arc, character development, writing, I mean, you, you name a perspective about judging a TV show, they had it. Um, and, they, and they had a lot of it. Well, maybe I'll have to watch it. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to watch it again after listening to the podcast. Real quick, one thing that they brought up today on the very first episode of the podcast is that um, Adriana, mm-hmm. they actually show her as a hostess in a restaurant, and then all of a sudden she's uh, yeah, Christopher's fiance or girlfriend. Yeah. And I've never noticed, I didn't notice that. So I'm like, oh, see, there's things down there that I should watch it again. Not right away, but I'll eventually yeah. watch it again and uh, see what else I pick up that I missed. There were things in, um, see, I think it was season five, because uh, I went through and watched it again, too. And there were things in season five that, and it's not like me to forget stuff, so I don't know if, I'm, I, hell, I might have been drunk when I was watching them. <laughs> Um, but, but but there were things in, in, no. yeah, there were Not things in you. season five that I forgot it happened uh, something like that was kind of cool um, or maybe I just noticed them for the first time who knows uh, but yeah I mean it, it, it is it is hands down a great series um, and then I know you're on True Blood now too yes that's I actually was watching I it before HBO, I, I can't watch any of that I know Cass I'm going to give you my HBO stuff <laughs> um, we discussed that before and I haven't done it what is Cass? What is your best and worst uh, watch, Dave? Nice. You've been binging me. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a series. Um, do you know? Have you ever heard of the the rapper Little Dicky? No. No. Jewish rapper. He's hilarious. Um. Anyway, it's uh, it's a sitcom that he does, and it's called Dave. Okay. And it's all about. It's about his kind of like his life, um, about being a Jewish kid who privileged Jewish kid who became a rapper. And it's just it's it's really comical. There's a couple episodes that are super lame and some that we just absolutely laughed our asses off. Awesome. So it's one of those ones where you never know what you're gonna get when you watch it. You know, either it's gonna be so funny, you're cracking up the whole time, or you're gonna be like, Yeah, that one felt flat. Was but that? yeah, yeah. It's on Hulu. It's called Dave, and it's yeah, it's it's about um, it's the, I'm ra- the rapper. I'm rating it down. I'm gonna check it out. So it's kind of yeah. it, it, see. I felt the same way, kind of about um, what's the show? Uh, cartoon Solar Opposites, uh, which is can, which I, is I done by the people. Into that. It's done by the people that do Rick and Morty, uh, right. and it's only one season. It's like eight episodes, and basically, it's 
Rick and Morty, but aliens and more swearing it is is what but I. But it's yeah. less. It Rick and Morty just like they take it to the next level. This one wasn't so yeah. because they do. They they even say it takes them a long time to write Rick and Morty because of the extent that they yeah. go into with it. And I absolutely love Rick and Morty. It's it's probably my favorite cartoon ever. No, and really. I know, I know. I have Rick and Morty blankets. I've gone as and the finale was, for Halloween. The finale was just a phenomenal. The finale, which the season finale, the one I just watched. It just yeah, it just aired Sunday. Yeah, the one with uh, the clone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was great. I loved it. But um, I've never watched an episode. Solar of Opposites. Life. Didn't care for it. I couldn't get into that one. And then the other one we tried watching that I couldn't really get into was um, Space Force. Haven't even turned Steve, that one on yet. Steve Corral. I just started watching and like we watched the first episode and I was just like, I laughed. Maybe I did a little chuckle maybe twice. And that was about it. See, and it's, and like, it's, it is. It's really too bad Steph's not here because, I mean, she she went through it in a day yeah. and said she absolutely loved it. So yeah, I mean, maybe my, I need to watch another episode of it. My brother-in-law said it was hilarious. I haven't yeah. turned it on yet either, but he he thought it was the best. Yeah, which so. I love Steve Carell, so I was really surprised. I didn't care for it, but I'll I'm, I'll try a second episode of it soon and see if I. I usually so I usually have a rule of it. I usually have a rule of three when it comes to shows. Like I will give you three episodes to pull me in, and because if you can't pull me in in three episodes, then right. you don't deserve I agree. my time. Yep, I no, agree. I agree. I usually give it at least two to three episodes before I'll like be like, yeah, no, it just sucks. So, well, which is why, and honestly, that's one of the reasons why I like the way I like it when they drop an entire season at once, as opposed to mm-hmm. you know some of the stuff that they put out week by week by week. Right. Um, just because, like, if like new stuff comes out, I'll let the first three or four episodes drop before I go back and watch them because I. Oh, I, we'll wait. We'll wait till if they do it one at a time. We'll wait till they do the whole thing. Like right uh, now, billions. We're waiting for them to drop right. the entire season before we start watching the next season of billions which i absolutely love that show but we're gonna do a drunken confession okay then. thank you amy i don't have a bell i need to get a bell let's see my next amazon purchase um first drunken confession of the night well i mean you're allowed to go outside now so you can go to the office supply store and buy a yeah i know because we don't have bells at the at my shop that can or at the bank that can steal so (laughs) So anyway, um, I, I wouldn't something... use the I wouldn't use steel and bank, bank and in work. the same sentence, right? All in the same it doesn't sound good, does I feel it? like that's a bad idea. Okay, like, yeah, you might want to walk that one back a little bit. <laughs> All right. So anyway, yeah, no, I don't steal anyway. Is that better? <laughs> okay, you're now oh. on the FBI watch list. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, I don't have to worry. I don't touch money. I don't touch the money at, at the bank. So I don't do a drawer. I don't touch the money. So I'm good about that. All right. So we're good. All right, so what's so, our drunken drunk confession? confession of the night? Yep. Is, have you ever gone to a wedding, and not your own, but have you ever gone to the wedding where you have either slept with or had a relationship with either bride or the groom? Yep. Absolutely yep. fucking no. I have. Yep. Dave has. Yep. Amy? <laughs> wow, Amy. Fuck no. Like, even if it came up, you wouldn't? Because mm. you're, like, you're pretty adamant about that. No, because actually... um funny story this actually happened to jeremy and i (laughs) before we were married so people came to your wedding that slept with one of you guys no we were invited to his ex's wedding and by his ex it was the ex that he had before he met me that was a very long serious relationship and his family always when i first met his family they always compared me to her oh so it was already like a little a little bit of a sore spot yeah, and then she invited us to her wedding, and I was like, absolutely not. She just wants you to stand up and object, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm like, that's the only reason why she's doing that. There's always a alternative motive, and so therefore, I would never, if somebody I had relations with got married, no, I'm not going to go either. I did. Um, yeah, as a I mean, I, fact, I, yeah. It was my husband was the best man in the wedding. Well, yeah, that's and I had slept with the groom years ago. That's how I met my husband. Actually, I was dating his friend. But and wasn't that awkward and, and weird the entire time? Like, no, no. Um, the only time it got a little strange was when we went out to lunch or dinner. It was me, Tom, and the groom. 
um, beforehand and they were talking about the talks that they were going to order for the wedding. And Tom made a comment about me knowing both their inseams. Other than that, yeah, yeah, Tom said that at, at right. a restaurant. I'm like, gee, thanks, honey. But um, day, day yeah, other than day that, no, it was, I, I guess it's because with, with Jay and I, we never had anything more than just kind of like a three month fling, I guess you could call it. Right. Another, there was never any really emotions in there or no connections. And as a matter of fact, it was funny because the whole time I was dating Jay, he kept saying, you know, you get along better with Tom. <laughs> I'm like, you're weird. I'm dating you. So, Dave, you want to expound on your? Uh, no, so it was uh, the girl that I started dating when I first moved to D.C., um and we were together for about a year and then we broke up and then just not too long before i moved out here uh she got married and she invited me um and like we had stayed friends i mean her husband well the i mean her boyfriend all along knew um you know that we had gone out and all that kind of crap and we kind of we would crack jokes and shit um and so yeah she invited. of course i went why not I didn't have a choice. Thomas has got to but... Maybe I just haven't been in that kind of like, uh, I've been with Jeremy for so long. Like I was 20 when I met Jeremy. Yeah. That I haven't had that, okay, he's an ex, but we still remained friends stage. Gotcha. So maybe that's why I feel a different kind of way. Right. Jay's probably one of the only people I've ever stayed friends with, but we didn't tell his wife at the time. She had no idea that Jay and I ever. Does she know now? Because well, they're divorced now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and he's remarried. I think this is wife number four. The hits just keep on coming. Wife number four. So it, it's just he's. <laughs> anyway, that, love him to death. A love him to death. Different but, color. <laughs> yeah, he'd love him to death, but he's he was not cast material. That's great. La di da. Uh, right. So hey, the uh, the stay at home order got lifted, and uh, bars and restaurants get to open up on Monday. You rushing yes. out to go? No. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Let everybody else be the test dummies for right. that. Right. Let let I'm gonna, we're gonna let the wave go. Yep. You know what I'm? You know the first thing I really want to do now that all these orders have been lifted. I want a pedicure. No, I want oh. to have. A small barbecue in my backyard and play cornhole and play euchre and have a fire and feed people and just hang out with more than three people. You know what uh, I apparently mean? Apparently, you, you could have up to 100. I that, know. Well, yeah. I don't have 100 people. I I know I have you, Stephanie, and Cass. <laughs> wait, Amy, just just wait. Just get me drunk on a Zoom. <laughs> and, and you'll, you'll have the entire effing world there. It'll be great. Because oh, I've, yeah. I've been told I, I have a tendency to invite people when I'm drunk. You do. No, actually, I am. I'm looking forward to like inviting my family over here and then having you guys over. Oh, so we get to meet your family. And by family, I mean my mom and my sisters and nieces and nephews, not the crazy people in the family. Um, Aww. But they were the crazy people. <laughs> not for the, not for the, oh, <laughs> not for the first meet. <laughs> Your family knows I love them and I don't mean anything but funniness by that. All right. Yeah. So next question. I, I feel, I feel, honestly, I feel like uh, the first gathering should just be in a big open field somewhere where we, we can all get together and just like scream for 10 minutes like that just to get it all out like <laughs> bring a bottle you of whiskey you don't do that right, now you know I what? Out to my backyard all the time and just scream Usually i was gonna say you could dog you but... could do it in my backyard because we're gonna be putting the house up for sale very shortly so it doesn't matter if we piss our neighbors off at this point not to mention my neighbors were out on the front lawn fighting two mornings ago at like 4 30 in the morning they were nice. in a yelling match stay classy for me ago that's awesome. So then it's the second time that's happened. So good old times I don't have and Taylor. <laughs> good old times gonna, and Taylor. Yeah, if people want to come like scream, I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. So next question, right. Dave. We're gonna ask you first. Okay. Um what's your best and worst purchase you've made during all this time? So two items. Uh, not, not the best and the worst, but it's two. two different items. Okay, best probably all the little the little shelves. additional lighted shelves for my bar. 
uh, worst um, all the shit to get all these retro gaming units put together and working because uh, it just uh, it just keeps turning into more work. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Nice. Amy? My, my best is my new laptop. That is my best purchase. My worst... I really don't know a worst. I've kind of yeah. talked myself out of like everything that I purchased, like on Amazon. I'm really happy I finally pulled the trigger and bought it. Bought I it. haven't. Yeah. I don't think I've blew money away, so yeah, like, I, I don't have yeah, a worst. I haven't had any regret <laughs> purchases. I don't think. Yeah. No. No. Not that, I mean, like, um, like I said, the uh, gaming stuff just keeps creating more work for me. But I mean, even that's going to eventually yeah. be fun. I mean that but, that that barrel strength bourbon I've I've regretted once or twice. <laughs> but that's kind of the best too, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best and it worst. Was the, it was the best of times. It was the worst, was of, the worst times. of times. <laughs> what about you, Cass? What's your best mm. and worst? Um, best my laptop as well. I got a new laptop as well. So I'd have to say that's my best purchase. My worst would happen to be, so I wanted a new pair of yoga pants. And so I'm ordering off of Amazon because, you know, trying to go in the store and I do the measurement thing. You know, I always go by measurements and I've had a lot of luck with them. And I don't know what the hell happened with these. Um, I could probably give them to my seven-year-old granddaughter. They'd probably fit her. Cause I'm like, um, yeah, yeah. These are stopping at the knee. <laughs> So I have them sitting over there because I didn't want to bother sending them back. They weren't that much money, but that was probably the worst. I haven't done anything stupid in a while. Although I do wake up and the first thing I do, if I've been drinking, the first thing I do is check my Amazon, you know, orders because I have oh, done. I, well, I got drunk and ordered me baby Yoda and I totally forgot about it until like two oh, days yeah. later. And I was like, oh yeah, I ordered baby Yoda. <laughs> Oh, but that was exciting for you you didn't mind that i was like all right that's a great drug purchase <laughs> yes it is so let me see i'm kind of perusing through here and no i haven't done anything really bad no um, the last thing i ordered was uh i ordered our drunken confession hoodies that we designed right so we got we got some gear coming to us i'm excited hopefully um it comes out exactly how we designed it and the sizes are good and everything so we can actually put the sweat start putting swag up on our website that's a cool. that's our goal right i think the worst thing i ever purchased was a rowing machine off of amazon one time when i was drunk i thought it'd be great i i would say the chocolate fountain but that one was on sale and i got it for like 25 bucks so it's not a big deal and i've used it once didn't i want to use name, it didn't you name the rowing machine like lance Lance, I said, I'm going to jump like, on Lance tonight. Yeah, I'm going to jump on Lance. I don't think you ever jumped on Lance. <laughs> I think I did twice. And yeah, it didn't work because it just hurt my back. And I'm like, I'm not going to do something that hurts my back. You know, I like, I don't think I'm doing this right. You know, so I did sell it. Did sell it. So got rid of that. Um, Got a an elliptical to replace Lance. And I point it right here because it's right next to me. Holding, holding your my, clothes. Holding my towel. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's a great clothes hanger. I'm, I'm quite sure, yeah. Just my towels from when I get out of the shower. I hang it here for it to dry, and then I'll throw in the basket. Oh, oh that's um, so funny. So we haven't named this one yet. Maybe maybe our listeners can help me come up with a good name. Because I named my car. I've named my motorcycle. I haven't named my bicycle yet. So I need a bicycle and my, my elliptical. I feel like uh, a bike should be Freddy. From Queen, because I want to ride my bicycle. Oh, that's a good one. I should call it Freddie. All right. <laughs> so I got Jasmine, Lucy, Freddie, and then my elliptical I need a name for. Richard. Um. <laughs> I think you're Richard Simmons. You know, exercise. Oh, okay. Oh, so I, I, I was, I thought you were making a dick joke, and I was gonna go. Let's see. So like, did what I. Makes you, I was gonna go with what, dick. Like I thought what, that's what, what she you, was you judge me like that. Why do you because think I was so there? It's not judging. We're educated on you. <laughs> it was an think, educated what, what name, guess. <laughs> what What name do I think of when I think of you? And I think of something that makes you put in a lot of effort but doesn't really go anywhere. What <laughs> What effort? 
What name? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> the intentions are always there. The follow through. Maybe that's so good. That's great. Right. So, so on that note, let's do another drug and confession. All right. All right. Do you have any more? No, of course I do. Okay. What's your What's the drunken confession, Cass? What's the biggest red flag you saw in another person but ignored and decided to date them anyway? Oh, I have a good one. Oh, good. Is it tip to with Jeremy? No. Oh. <laughs> um, biggest red flag I had um, brought to me was multiple girls were telling me that my one really good male friend was uh, physically abusive. Mm. And I didn't believe them. And then, because I was friends with him, not them. And then he did it to my very best friend. And I, so I ignored the red flags allowed my best friend to hook up with him and it didn't turn out very well no that doesn't sound like it did yeah no so okay dave uh <laughs> so this gets into uh the first marriage that we haven't even really got onto a lot uh i think the biggest yeah, red we talked flag about that, that a little earlier today yeah, didn't we yeah uh, the biggest red flag that i ignored was that after knowing each other online for only two weeks uh, she lived here in Michigan. I lived down in DC and she called me from her car as she was in Ohio on her way to come meet me. Oh, is that like the stalker girlfriend? Kind of, I, I should have realized she was a little crazy then. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I was, uh, I was dumb. Uh, I was dumb cause she kind of looked a little like Belinda Carlisle and, uh, you know how much I love the eighties. That was, uh, that was the thing. <laughs> I have no idea who that is, but okay. Lead, lead singer of the Go-Go's. the Go-Go's? And oh, okay. I was saying you still have no idea who that is. No, uh, no I know who the Go-Go's is, but I can't tell you what they look like, so no. Gotcha. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. All righty. What about you, Cass? Oh, shit. Name it. Ooh. Every single guy I've ever dated is nothing but red flags, and I'm always like, oh, I think he's so good. <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's probably got a good heart. Um, yeah, no, I can't think of anything like concrete. Because like I said, I am not one to like pay attention to red flags. Belinda Carlisle. Oh. oh, I was like, what happened to my computer? <laughs> Dave took over the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so um, I would have to say every single guy I've dated has had just nothing but red flags, but I haven't really. Including just... the one you married. <gasps> oh, just if kidding. You're, if you're wearing rose-colored glasses, all flags are red. Right, <laughs> and that's been me. So, and no, um, no I, I really, I, the more I think about it, even though I'm the one that came up with the question, I still was just like, yeah, this guy, this, this guy, that, you know, it's too many to even count. So we're just going to go with, you know, yeah. I wear rose-colored glasses, and I don't know. <laughs> so that moves us up to our next question. You ready, Dave? Right, so the best and worst habits you've picked up during COVID. Ooh. I mean, I, I don't know that it's a habit that I've picked up. It, it's a habit that may have gotten amplified a bit. Drinking? <laughs> Drinking? Uh, that would be no. that would be staying up late drinking with friends. Um, yeah, just because I mean it, it's I mean there have been nights where it's gone till three four o'clock in the morning and and just oof it, it just sleepies the next day. But the uh, money you're saving on Ubers has got to be great. Oh, exactly. exactly. I don't even, like, dude, my <laughs> bank account is like, what the hell is going on? Like, what I like, dude? Like, we we're we're not paying Uber. We're not like what what happened? Uh, did, you get, did you get divorced from Uber and Lyft? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, that's, so yeah, I mean, honestly, the best habit that I've probably picked up, I could say, is drinking more at home um, just because I, I never do. Like, I, I think I've, I've I literally, I, I can say without a doubt in my mind, I have drank more 
at home in the last three months than I have in the in the ten years that and probably twenty years uh, the last twenty years. Um, it, it's just not, you know, I, I mean, even with all this nonsense, it was only something when people were over and, and not, and not, not even then all the time, uh, just cause I was always on the go either with the studios or events or some, you know, whatever I was, I, I was just hardly ever here to begin with. Um, but yeah, no, it's, so, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely been a, uh, been a cost saving measure if nothing else. Um, and yeah, I've never had to make that. Yeah. Am I good enough to drive home? No, no never right. had to make that decision. Um, I probably, I don't, well, actually, no, and, and honestly, probably the, one of the better habits that I think I've picked up is is I've been trying to be better about staying in touch with people and checking in on people because uh, I'm I'm the first person to admit that by and large I'm a shitty friend, um, just because I mean I, I I have the attention span of a squirrel that sees something shiny, um, and and I, I get focused on whatever crisis is in front of me and I forget everything else to an exclusive. I th- in your defense, Dave, it, I think every human is capable of that. I know I have been a shitty friend to people at certain times because whatever is right in front of my face is what you deal with. Yeah. So I think everybody ha- can say that we've all been shitty friends nope. one time I'm or another. Friend. I've nope. tried to. I'm a great friend. <laughs> what? You're... I am. I'm a good friend. <laughs> No, so that is that's one of the things I've been I've been trying to get work on and get better at over the course of this nonsense, and hopefully that carries forward when all this dies away. Awesome. Am I allowed to have a bragging moment about being a good friend? I consider myself a very good friend of people. Well, there you go. You're allowed to have it. I mean, you can okay, consider. Okay, so that's it. one no. good quality. The one good co- quality. Well, I can't talk. The one good quality I have is I'm a really good friend. Actually, I mean, yeah, I'm you, not. Gonna, I can't even argue that Cash, you are a really good friend. So, he? at least to me, <laughs> at least to me, I don't I know about any. Else, I, really uh, I don't know about any of your other friends, but you are oh, a really I'm good always, friend to me. <laughs> I'm always there for my friends. If they said anything, I would always drop everything for them. That's just how I am. Um, so I that I consider that a good quality, and I'm not being a braggart or anything like that. That's actually one of my better qualities. Cool. So, so what's your best and worst um habit? Habit. That you picked I'm up drinking, drinking a lot more and eating out a lot more. And the best thing that's happened for this is drinking at home instead of drinking out and trying to find ways home and relying on other people or lifts and stuff like that too. So trying to sober up so I can drive home, you know, all that bullshit. <laughs> right. I don't know what that? What about you, Amy? Um, the best habit I think I picked up is being more comfortable on video. And, um, that was, that's a small achievement for me. Like now I want to zoom with my friends. And even when I look like crap, I'm like, oh, well, I don't care. So (laughs) that's good. Um, the bad is staying up too late drinking. Like before (laughs) when, even when I was working, yeah, I could go out with you guys and we could drink, but I knew, okay, it's this time I got to work. But see, like last night. No, I stayed up way past my bedtime last night, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> drinking on Zoom <laughs> with wow. Dave and Stephanie. And I was like, okay, I really have to go lay down. Bye, guys. <laughs> Not me. I, uh, I knew I had to work. So I'm like, nope, going to be good. No, I, I, knew I, I don't work tomorrow. So tonight's I my knew I had night. to work this morning, but I was enjoying myself. Like we had good conversation going. <laughs> Let's hope for that tonight too, because I don't have to work in the morning. Works for me. All right. I have to work, but we all know how I feel about that. So (laughs) So we're going to end up with one last wrong and confession for the night before we wrap things up. All right. So what is the biggest guilty pleasure you've taken during all this time to stay at home? Your guilty pleasure. Whether it's porn or not to like help you or anything, but you guys all look like you're really thinking hard. So I am because there's a couple into some like tentacle porn or something like that while you were no. home. I mean, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, guilty pleasure. I don't know. I'm not, not judging. Just saying. Well, honestly, drinking would go drinking would go underneath that, but I need to come up with something different. Guilty pleasure. Mind um, staying up late and zooming. I love it. I love yeah. meeting new. We've met new people, and we've strengthened friendships with people we've already met. 
See, but when I think when I think of guilty pleasure, though, I think of something that you wouldn't necessarily Decadent. tell other people about. Like, right, like, decadent. And that's yeah. why no, not even that's that. Why but like, it's a like great, physical porn. Like I always say, like my so, and not even it's, it. It really doesn't apply to me because I talk about it with everybody. But like my guilty pleasure is like '80s bubblegum pop. Like, dude, Tiffany, Debbie Gibson, yet idiot. Yet. I mean, like that. I mean, everybody knows that about me now. But for like the longest time, that was something like I didn't talk about because it was like, dude, you're gay. Um, but no, it's like so, like like me. I God, like I don't even know. Like, but yeah, but I mean, I guess, yeah, I, like there's that. I, I, I guess maybe just a uh, guilty pleasure. Like, yeah, just staying up late and drinking and, and having a great time and not having to give a shit about how much I'm drinking. Cause the worst I have to do is stagger over to the couch. That's right there. And that, yeah. That's yeah. Worst, worst case scenario. And yeah. so, nice. Mm-hmm. that is nice. I mean, that's my answer too. I know I already said that that was my bad habit, but that is also, you enjoy it that's my guilty pleasure. I don't want to go back to work because I want the ability <laughs> to stagger over to that couch whenever I need to pass out. <laughs> I was really hoping someone would have tentacle porn on theirs, but <laughs> look for one. I mean, you're sorry, talking to me. I mean, I can drag Remy in here. He might go. I, I don't know. I mean, of, of any of us, he probably we can drag him in after, after we, uh, after, after we, we wrap. Screen. Yeah. And you can we can drag him in there, and then I can ask everyone those questions again. I, say, I mean, you know, Lauren's really into hentai and anime. I mean, she's all about Sailor Moon. She might be into. I don't know. I, I don't judge. <laughs> hey, why not? Why not? More power to you. All right. So on that note, we're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Cool. So, all Tess, right. do you have tonight's cheers? Of course I do. Of course I do. All right. She says like. So she's everybody, never said no raise before. the glass. Uh, before we leave you tonight, actually, Pam, Pam. before we leave you tonight, thank you guys for tuning in. We will be back um, next Wednesday, same time, same site, uh, for another episode of Drunken Confessions. Next week is actually Jeremy and I's anniversary edition because it is our three year wedding anniversary next Wednesday. Oh, um, sweet. Yeah. And then, of course, if you're bored on Friday, Cass and I will be doing our live version of The Hangover. And we will and make we have sure some announcements to make Friday. Yes, we do. So stay tuned. And Cass, on that note, raise your glass. And what's the cheers? Or your can. Or All your right. Can. Yeah, Cass, raise your cans. I'm raising my cans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think I threw out my back. All right. So. <laughs> Here's to the men who love me terribly. May they soon improve. Wait for it. It'll hit you. Just wait for it. That was a sleeper, but hey, it works, right? And hey, for what it's worth, um, I, I've kind of made this note on, on all the shows that I've been on. I would be remiss uh, if I didn't say, hey, it's kind of overplayed, but hey, thoughts and prayers, best thoughts, uh, everybody being affected by whether it's COVID or all of the chaos that's got the entire world in flames right about now. Um, stay safe. Um, yeah, do what you got to do, but keep your shit together and stay safe. Uh, yeah. Yes, and in Drunken Confessions, 100% says Black Lives Matter. Cheers. Boom. And on that note, we'll catch you guys Friday. Love you. Bye.